good morning children welcome to aims india online classes biology session nature and scope of biology so we have been discussing about uh, the nature of biology different branches of biology and um, the different scientists and their contributions like that uh, we have discussed uh, different aspects related to the nature of biology in this video we are going to discuss more about uh, the nature of biology that is the biology is the science of exception and uh, about the scope of biology also we are going to see okay children are you ready so let us proceed biology is a science of exceptions because every branch has its own exceptions so biology is also having its uh, the it is an exceptionally an important branch of science the exceptions are inherent in biology due to evolutionary divergence okay the exceptions are inherent in biology due to evolutionary divergence not only living organisms but viruses and biomolecules also exhibit exceptional forms here what is biology actually according to the definition biology is the science of living organisms study of living organisms so but viruses and uh, these uh, biomolecules when some of the non living aspects are also we are going to study so that's why it is an exceptional forms biology exhibits the exceptional forms like viruses and biomolecules a student of biology must be prepared to accept and enjoy this gesture of nature a student of biology must be prepared to accept the and enjoy this gesture of nature nature having its own gesture gesture means shape okay the position posture gestures these are all the nature also shows its gesture so being a biology student you must be prepared to accept that okay some exceptions have been explained logically while for others the reasons are yet to be searched out because some some things uh, some of the concepts and hypotheses it must be explained logically and uh, actually the science is the search of truth science can be defined as the search of truth so logically we have to accept some concepts and hypotheses but we have to search for the reasons and we have to search out the actual reason behind it okay following are the noteworthy exceptions in zoology so some uh, uh, exceptions are given what are they let us see first mammals are usually terrestrial fossorial or arboreal but bat is only flying and whale and seals are aquatic mammals okay so here mammals means uh, the animals which directly give birth to their young ones and feed their young ones with uh, milk they are terrestrial terrestrial means which live on land fossorial fossorial means which live in the holes of the earth or arboreal arboreal means which live on trees but uh, bat is the only flying flying mammal okay eudinamus bat so generally the uh, animals which have wings uh, they are considered as birds like that in an opinion but the bat also possesses the wings 
that is a petagium the wing of bat is a extension of a skin the four limbs are modified into wings in the bat and um, so it is a flying mammal and whales and seals blue whale the largest animal so it is a mammal which is aquatic seal then aquatic okay so some exceptions are there so mature mammalian rbcs are devoid of nucleus except camel so generally the mammalian rbc when it is uh, premature means not mature or early rbc it consists of nucleus but when it gets mature that rbc is considered as a prokaryotic cell because nucleus and other organelles will disappear but in camel's blood the rbc are nucleated nucleated rbc are present in the camel and lamba so this is an exception next the aquatic stage of some salamanders salamanders are amphibians which live on land and in water okay some salamanders like uh, ambystoma is able to reproduce pedogenesis and attain sexual maturity means ambystoma larva itself gets the ability to reproduce that is called pedogenesis and it attains sexual maturity so it is called uh, the phenomenon is called neoteny neoteny so you will study in higher classes the total neoteny is found in nectarus siren and proteus proteus is also an amphibian which is a blind amphibian okay which uh, dwells in the caves okay so aquatic larval stage of some salamanders like ambystoma is able to reproduce so reproducing uh, at larval stage is uh, pedogenesis and attains the sexual maturity at the larval stage it is called as neoteny and the total neoteny is found in some species like nectarus siren and proteus these are all uh, amphibians next heart is three chambered in reptiles but four chambered heart is present in the crocodiles so ventricle is partially divided in the crocodile so it is uh, an exception so it is two chambered heart present in the fishes but there are three chambered heart present in uh, certain uh, fishes like uh, protopterus it is also called lung fish protopterus which possesses lung like structures instead of gills uh, the protopterus is uh, possessing uh, lungs as a respiratory organ that's why they are called uh, lung fishes okay next it is also an exception because what is an exception means uh, so a special feature okay generally all of the remaining uh, organisms possess one characteristic feature and one single organism in that group may possess a different characteristic feature so that is called exceptional okay or unique feature biology is the science of exceptions under that um, zoology part we are discussing means about the animals the dna is double stranded in all cells and dna viruses but single stranded in bacteriophage virus okay dna is double stranded in all cells and dna viruses but single stranded dna is present in the bacteriophage in the same manner in the same manner rna is a single strand generally in all cells and rna viruses but double stranded rio virus rice dwarf virus and wound tumor virus okay these viruses possess a double stranded rna okay 
so this uh, corona virus also single stranded rna virus it is okay hiv virus rna virus okay science and technology discovery of radioactive isotopes enabled tracing metabolic pathways the development of microscope and then electron microscope provided useful tools to study biology science and technology are combined they cannot stay isolated they will go with each other these two branches science and technology technology adopting technology in studying the science uh, helped in uh, deep study for example the discovery of electron microscope by nol and riska okay it uh, changed the scenario of cell science okay so that's why the different technologies like radioactive isotopes chromatography technology discovery of electron microscope these are all provided the strength to the study of uh, biology okay living organisms x ray crystallography x ray crystallography is uh, one of the important uh, invention it helped the study of uh, the structure of dna without that uh, the dna structure was a puzzle okay so x ray crystallography helped in the study of the structure of dna structure of protein and many other biomolecules okay what are biomolecules the biomolecules are nothing but uh, the carbohydrates proteins fats amino acids uh, the proteins means amino acids uh, fatty acids means fats uh, okay and um, rna dna deoxyribonucleic acid ribonucleic acid these are all biomolecules okay next uh, science and technology biotechnology and genetic engineering these two are uh, the most uh, advanced branches of uh, the applied biology okay biotechnology and genetics genetic engineering these two are uh, the combination of different branches of biology okay they are fruitful due to accumulation of knowledge from different sources it is noteworthy that while information gathered from the basic researches enriched the field of applied researches so what i told an uh, applied branches they are so without biotechnology and genetic engineering now no medicine may be synthesized okay so without biotechnology and genetic engineering no hybrids varieties no advanced treatment of diseases is possible without these two technologies okay so they are applied it is noteworthy that while information gathered from the basic researches enriched the field of applied researches the fruits of applied researches contribute to explore and widen the area of basic researches inventions of new technology extended new hopes and open avenues for the work and research which was not possible earlier okay what is that uh, major institute csir okay central the scientific industrial research it is uh, located at new delhi so from where so many scientists come out the knowledge of the scientist flourished there sharpened there by using the different uh, modern e- equipment required for the research are there okay so inventions of new technology extend uh, new hopes and open avenues for the work and research which was not possible earlier 
it is possible only because of the introduction of technology in the study of uh, science okay next scope of biology so there is a vast scope the biology biology creates an awareness of vast array of forms of life which normally goes unseen biology offers a large scope and provides a large field for study okay the scope of biology is unlimited some important fields given here the biology helps us to understand ourselves better biology helps us to understand ourselves better it unfolds different queries of life different queries of life along with its cultural social physiological and economical aspects finally it helps in understanding the life better isn't it biology and interrelationship of living beings means every living organism particularly every human being is a biologist our day starts with biology ends with biology okay so biology and interrelationships of living beings biology and resources next uh, biology and literature so these are all uh, we can't isolate uh, the biology from our day to day life without biology nothing is uh, done so every day so this uh, biology plays an important role literature means the literature means in writing some uh, articles like that related to biology okay so for example biology and interrelation of uh, living beings the study of biology help us in understanding the wonderful phenomenon and the laws of nature which finally tell us to predict the behavior of different living beings under changed conditions isn't it biology and resources previously how the biology and relation to resources biology help us to know how to tap and conserve the resources available to us for example birds fishes forest conservation of different animals okay different projects introduced next uh, biology and literature so biology of uh, natural biology the knowledge of natural biology has greatly enriched the literature and their references in stories and poems the poets and other authors have been inspired by the beautiful and interesting plants and animals and frequently figure them in stories poems and drama okay the study of nature is a rewarding experience the many plants okay like marigold roses different types dahlia asters etc are used for ornamental purposes the variety available in animals is widely enjoyed in uh, zoological parks isn't it children the students enjoy excursions whenever you go to picnics educational tours we can say excursions to remote place uh, to the remote areas watching uh, never seen before plants and animals okay botanical gardens where certain rare species of plants can be grown okay some medicinal plants 
so that's why you have to participate in uh, the excursions or educational tours okay biology in solving the problems biology makes us to understand the present day problems for example population growth population growth and uh, the pollution conservation of wildlife and even the survival of man also the future directions of biotechnology the conservation of biodiversity maintenance of environment and human welfare remain in the hands of a biologist so biology knowledge helps in solving so many problems biology in medical aspects so it's uh, one of the most important so there are several uh, plant species are there in ayurveda for example the several plants like atropa belladonna cinchona optionalis these are the sources of uh, atropine and uh, quinine which are useful in the treatment of uh, cancer and which are useful in the treatment of uh, malaria okay many members of the fungi so far what we call the antibiotics penicillium notatum streptomyces penicillin streptomycin the antibiotics okay they are produced from the fungi the plants are the major source of even vitamins drugs are first tested on animals before being used for the treatment of human the animals provide the scientific hints for the production and use of medicines the animals are widely used for scientific research and uh, results thus obtained are finally applied to man isn't it the study of animal play an important role in health nutrition and control of pests many diseases like malaria are caused and transmitted by the different uh, mosquitoes okay so the scientists before releasing any medicine say icmr okay indian council of medical research niv national institute of virology say so these uh, laboratories national wide they will do the research and uh, testing trials will be there based on the results of the testing trials they will introduce the new vaccines that's the reason why the vaccine for corona virus is becoming delay because still testing trials are going on okay solving the approach of biology solving approach of biology the knowledge for the eradication of diseases like malaria smallpox have been achieved by scientists basically due to desire and determination to solve the problem so scientists uh, they will sacrifice their personal life they will always think about the welfare of the society okay so day and night so irrespective of the time they possess a strong desire and determination to solve the problem next ecosystem and living organisms biology helps us in understanding the various ecosystems the living community and non living uh, environment interact with each other and exchange of materials in the ecosystem takes place okay what is the ecosystem ecosystem can be defined as the structural and functional unit of biosphere okay next biotechnology so this is the last uh, in the scope of biology biotechnology uh, biotechnologists have produced many genetically modified gm crops okay the plenty of studies are being made by genetics genetics who study about the genetics evolutionists and uh, cytologists to fudge the efficacy of biotechnology okay biotechnology is the combination of cell biology molecular biology genetics okay so new species 
before introducing so many tests have been done whether that will resist the particular environment it can able to survive or not that is called quarantine tests they are called quarantine tests okay children thank you for watching our video please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon to receive latest updates